there's a chance that you're watching this video on a QLED display right now. And if you are, you're interacting with the same technology that could someday double solar panels efficiency. The Q in QLED stands for quantum dot, and their supernatural looking glow has already been a feature of TV screens and computer monitors for years. They're so small, they're effectively artificial atoms that we can finely tune to produce the colors that we want, thanks to a phenomenon known as quantum confinement. Just by changing a dot's size, you can change its color because they only produce specific wavelengths of light. But even though they're nanoscale particles, quantum dots can have a huge impact. As a semiconducting material with unique properties, they can actually do something that a typical solar cell can't. Multiple exciton generation. In your average PV panel, an exciton is an electron hole pair that forms when a photon radiating from the sun transfers its energy to an electron. That's where we get our current, so we want as many excitons as we can get. However, that ticket only admits one, one exciton for one photon. Quantum dots, however, can produce more than one exciton per photon. As a result, quantum dots could push photovoltaic conversion efficiency up as high as 66% according to theoretical calculations from the U.S. National Renewable Energy Laboratory. Considering that the typical limit for silicon solar panel efficiency hovers around 30%, these quirky dots have the potential to double a panel's performance. And before you start taking apart your TV, know that a major barrier to using quantum dots in PV panels is toxicity. Still up in the air is how harmful the exposure to them actually is, but they're often made, not always, but they're made with metals like lead, cadmium, arsenic, and mercury. Quantum dots are also very fragile. They don't take kindly to the exact conditions that PV panels face every day. Air, moisture, high temperatures, and more critically, UV light. They're a lot more at home, in your home, backlit by LEDs. Outside of consumer electronics, quantum dots are already being put to use in lasers, sensors, batteries, and medicine. If we can figure out how to bulk up these microscopic powerhouses, they might just bulk up our PV panels too. And who doesn't love rooting for the little guy?